In nature depleted Britain, we've lost a wide array of native species. Carefully considered reintroduction of those now missing can play a key role in rewilding and help nature heal itself. Frogs go through several stages in their life cycle. At each cycle, frogs play a crucial role in the food chain, both as predator and prey. They transfer energy from invertebrates to predators higher up the food chain. They're also bioindicators, which help us understand the quality of an ecosystem. Tree frogs have disappeared from the UK, but they are common across Europe. It is thought that the draining of wetlands where the frogs breed is believed to have reduced numbers. We should have vast wetlands, but instead, the land has been used for farming, housing, or another human purpose. The draining of UK's wetlands has been an ecological disaster, as reintroductions of species such as the beaver have increasingly gained ground in the UK the habitats needed for tree frogs to thrive again are being created. Conservationists would like to help restore the species to the trees, bushes and wetlands where they are missing. Derek Gow, a conservationist, has been involved with the successful effort to bring beavers back to England. He's among many people in the UK who keep and breed tree frogs and hopes they can be reintroduced. The 25-year Environment Plan states it will provide opportunities for the reintroduction of formerly native species, but applications to reintroduce a formerly native species have to comprehensively demonstrate the benefits and how any potential impacts would be managed. Derek Gell told The Independent, it's already happening, but it's a case of whether you want to do it properly and for good ecological reasons. There's already colonies of tree frogs in the New Forest and in Torquay and other locations which are doing well.